another Kingfisher BFS reel and a trout magnet. And uh, yours truly, glutton for punishment. It's, uh, I believe, another 100 degree day. I'm tweaking this because feels different. There we go. Got the wind behind me now, so I can take advantage of it, lighten up on the brakes and adjust the spool tension to adjust for that and take advantage of the wind. That's what I find uh, with these um, ultralight bait casters is you can definitely be quirky when it comes to days when it's really windy. Okay. And today you got, oh, there's a hit. Ah. Okay, ah, two hits, two hits. Felt bluegilly. <laughs> All right. Oh yeah, that's casting much better now. Okay, got it dialed in at least for this wind. There's the hit, there's the hit. Nice. Little blue golly. All right, we didn't strike out. First fish today on the Trump magnet. BFS style, little blue golly. Seems to be a place where they like to congregate. And let's see if I can at least get a get one out of this spot. Let it sink. All right, he's tapping it. Got him. Ah, uh, he was tapping it. I saw the line movement. Let's see if I can get him to do it again. Okay, just letting it sink. I'm watching the line. Well, that's really going to be the indication of a strike is watching the line before I actually feel it. Okay. Okay, nothing yet. There he goes. There he goes. Picked it up. All right. Picked it up. Little blue golly. Nice. Just kind of scouting the bank, standing off about maybe five, six feet from the bank right now. Oh, there's a bass right there. Just ran off right in the shallows. I think he was chasing something. There's a hit. There you go. That's what I was talking about. Little fingerling bass. Oh. Little fingerling bassalito on the trout magnet. Yeah. All right. Okay. Slow, steady retrieve. Okay. All right, gonna recast. Sort of just clearing the spot where I'm gonna be walking up on. There's a hit. There he's on, he's on. Oh, a bigger one over here. Huh, something big was nearby. I spooked him when I caught this guy. Yeah, I wonder what that was. Holy cow, he just shot off. All right, well, got this guy. There's another. He's just playing with it. Yeah. God, I see he's taking it back and it's like he's not uh, really mouthing it to where I can hook him. Oh, there's a hit. That one's a hit. That one, I didn't even have to look at the line. I felt it. For a little guy, he seemed pretty big. Okay. So yeah, you, you can cast one gram trial magnets. Yeah, you'll have some backlashes. You'll have some overruns. And you have to adjust based on the conditions. But after a while, you'll start getting a good feel for it. And well, even the little guys feel like big guys on these little ultralights. Okay, let's see if we can get another guy to strike. Seems to be the steady retrieve like that is getting them. The rip thy lips technique didn't work. But that's working, so good news on that. All right, it looks like we got four guys online. All right, cool. Howdy, howdy. Glad you guys can join us. Been out here just fishing the evening or the late afternoon bite. Uh, things are starting to cool down a little bit. There's a hit. There is a hit. <clears throat> so I'm thinking maybe the fish will also be more active than they were when I first came out here because it was definitely hot. Okay, let's get this guy back in. Blue gully. Nice. Feeling for a strike. Come on. There's the hit. There it is. Right there. I didn't see the line on that one. I just felt the hit in this case. So, blue gully on the trout magnet. Right there. 
I tend to use lures mainly. When we hit Galveston, we'll be using some uh, live bait, if not some cut bait. When we try catching some of those uglies, big uglies and bull reds, as well as uh, some sharks. Hopefully that's gonna be here in the next few. I do have some stuff to prep for. Get some of the uh, leaders and shark leaders and whatnot prep. And I, I use this thing called Malin wire. Ever since we started using that, we, we really haven't lost anything uh, to any break offs. That's been really nice. There's a hit. Yeah, that's been really nice. And what's nice about that mailing wire is it doesn't take much to uh, get one set up. And you just got to be careful on your haywire twist that uh, you do it correctly. Because if you don't, you will end up snapping it. All right, there we go. Blue golly. Trout magnanitis. Okay. Just trying to keep the tension on the line. Okay, there's a little pop. I feel something. There's the hit. He's on, he's on. Okay. He's on. That one I just went by feel this time since I couldn't see my line. There's another hit. There's another, yeah. They are still here. There's actually some schools here too, so, or beds. So, but uh, they're definitely not the, the big bruisers that I was catching earlier in the year in the same spot. They uh, are still fun to catch. Okay. There's the hit. It's a little bit bigger. A little bit bigger. Pretty one. Just kind of walking the, the bank now. Staying off the bank though. Uh, that one has junk on it. Uh, let's get that one cleared out. Let's go this way. Yeah, they're, they're kind of moving up and down the, the bank here and I suspect it's those fingerling bass. There's a hit. There we go. Let's see. Well, I guess it's a fingerling sunfish. <laughs> well, that counts. Let's try over here. I just saw something move. Over there to my left, something moved. There's a hit. All right, that one's bigger. That one's bigger. That one's bigger. Yeah, it's a bass. Nice. All right. Well, definitely not a fingerling. It's a bass. All right. I'm using this uh, two-pound test, and so I gotta be very careful. Uh, so what I try doing is I try grabbing it with my fingers instead of lifting it up. There we go. All right. All right. On the trout magnet. Not bad.